Moses. Apparently this is where the boxer Chang Chung Ku comes from. I have no idea about boxing so I sadly don't know who he is.
Hello everybody! Well, I'm back. <laughs> and you might ask yourself, well, what kind of story will she tell us today? Quite simple. Uh, you have seen that I've walked around the Gamchon village, which is a special part of Busan that is on the mountain, as you have seen, and they have really pretty blue uh, roofs and they have really pretty uh, colorful houses there and the funny thing was uh, apparently where I went that's not really a touristy spot <laughs> so yeah after I saw like the touristy part I went up the mountain which was uh, me and mountains. We will be friends at the end of this whole trip, I'm sure. So yeah, I went up the mountain and I had the most stunning view of, I think we, we were able to see all of Busan. I think there's like, like a little bit around uh, the right corner and like behind the, the island or the peninsula on Busan. That's what we couldn't see, of course. But we were able to see almost all of Busan. We were able to see the harbor. We were able to see like almost um, up to here. But Heonde is behind this little island, or again this little peninsula. So yeah, we couldn't really see it, but we could see the uh, peninsula. We could see the skyscrapers that are here. So yeah, it it was brilliant, it was beautiful and it was really really hard to going up that mountain <laughs> and people were looking at me of course because as I said apparently that's not where tourists go. How do I know? I went to this beautiful little cafe which you should also be able to see in the vlog before I talk. So You have seen it, it's the little pink uh, thing with the beautiful beautiful uh, roof terrace so first I went up to the roof terrace because the barista told me I can go there and the view was stunning I enjoyed it very much but then it was a bit cold so I went downstairs and sat there and well the the barista was the one that told me that she, she was she was kind enough to ask me are you lost? <laughs> I was like, no, I just like going to places where no one else goes, so just walking around. So yeah, that was really fun and afterwards I didn't film this part because I feel like it's, it's, it's not right. I went to a market, so there's this uh, classical Korean market where you can buy everything from fruits to vegetables to a lot of fish because here as you have also seen on the vlog um, there are a lot of fishing ships I think that's but yeah so um, yeah I went over the market and people already look at you when you're a tourist and you're walking around and I think it's I, I myself think it's rude to film them because it kind of is like oh like it, it feels like you're you're acting as if you're in a zoo so those are the parts that I don't like to film that's just me I love watching them if other, if other people are brave enough to do it but I always feel like well I already am just walking around looking and I don't want to I don't want to be rude. It's probably not rude, it's probably just me that thinks that, but yeah. But it was really interesting um, walking around there and seeing how they sell things and what you can buy and if you want to have like fruit, fruits and vegetables that are cheaper than in the supermarket, that's the place to go because their things were a lot cheaper. But also good quality, so yeah. And then... I had to I had to take a train to 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 start my journey up the mountain and the village, so I had to take a train back. I was a bit tired because the train takes a lot of time <laughs> to go there, 
and yeah, so uh, I started to fall asleep while standing up, and then uh, a seat was free, and the nice <laughs> older Korean couple told me to sit down, and we started to talk, and as always, this 80-year-old gentleman was able to talk to me in English. His German was also very good, because he read Goethe and Hesse, apparently, when he was younger. And his wife also talked to me, so it was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and yeah, they were really sweet. So, another good day. Met more nice people. And now I'm a bit tired, so yeah, we'll see what we will do next. Probably nothing, because uh, I'll try, I, I will try not to do anything on Saturday and Sunday, or at least not too much, because I don't want to go into the big bulk of people that are here over the weekend, so yeah. I don't like big bulks of humans. And we still have Halloween coming up, which is a big deal here, so... I don't know. I'll probably just go to the beach and have a look. And if there's too many people, I will go back or something. We'll see. But now I will enjoy my evening. I still have to cook some dinner for myself. And yeah. So I had another fun day. And I thought I'd explain to you where I was because I don't want to do a, you know, the uh, off voice because I think this way you can decide to not listen to me talk and you can stop before I start talking. <laughs> you can just enjoy the pretty pictures. And if you want to know more, now you do. <laughs> okay, so I think this will be one vlog. Yeah, probably so. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.